Well, it was built in 1904 and now a Waverly schoolhouse is being prepped for a very big move. People in the small town trying to save the historic structure by sending it on a six mile journey. KXY 4's Aaron Luna has that story from Waverly. Granted, Waverly is very small. It's the second smallest incorporated town in Washington, but what it lacks in population, it makes up for in history. And now the town is trying to save some of that history, starting with the Prairie View School. Tucked away in a quiet corner outside the town of Waverly sits the old Prairie View Schoolhouse. 109 years. At one time, schools like this dotted the landscape when the population in Waverly reached over 1,000 and children rode horses to school and back. Waverly is a small town today, but in the 19, early 1900s, it was a very, very large booming community with a sugar beet factory. Now the population is just over 100, and Prairie View School is one of the last left standing. Three years ago, I believe, is when we got it on the historical register. Town historian Evie Heinbetter has been trying to move the old schoolhouse into town for years. Uh, we started about six years ago, and then we couldn't find funding, and then some gentleman decided to donate money to the town so that we could move the school and put a new roof on it. That donation actually totaled $45,000, which puts the moving date sometime this week. The biggest challenge is being able to keep it together um, so that we can take it down as one and still be able to put it up as one. This particular school has two entrances, one for boys, one for girls. It also has a stage. The schoolhouses back then were used for dances and community meetings, a real gathering place for the people right in the area. And of course, Prairie View used to have a school bell, now believed to be hidden in a barn somewhere in the area. And there's a lot of controversy in the area and talk about where the bell is. Once moved, Prairie View will have a new home as a museum. A lot of interesting stories could be told by the people who, who went to school there and lived in this area in that time for sure. And barring any moving mishaps, record another 100 years on the Palouse. Maverick Roofing should have the schoolhouse moved by the end of the week. Reporting in Waverly, Aaron Luna, KXOY4 News.